हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट ऑफ क्लास ट्वेल्थ टुडे विल डिस्कस अबाउट द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द पी ब्लॉक द क्वेश्चन इज दैट राइट द ऑर्डर ऑफ थर्मल स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ हाइड्राइड्स ऑफ ग्रुप 16 एलिमेंट थर्मल स्टेबिलिटी मीन्स सपोज दैट वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग द हीट टू अ मॉलिक्यूल और कंपाउंड एंड आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग टर्म ऑफ हीटिंग दैट द बॉन्डिंग बिटवीन दैट मॉलिक्यूल इज मच स्टेबल आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग हीटिंग देन इट इज कॉल्ड थर्मल स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ द हाइड्राइड हाइड्राइड मीन्स हाइड्रोजन इज गोइंग टू कनेक्ट विद द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ ग्रुप सिक्सटीन सो द क्वेश्चन इज दैट राइट द ऑर्डर ऑफ थर्मल स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ द हाइड्राइड ऑफ ग्रुप सिक्सटीन एलिमेंट्स so when we are moving from top to bottom the size going to be increases okay because the new principal cell is going to be added or introduced so when we are moving from top to bottom in the case of oxygen family oxygen sulfur selenium tellurium and polonium the size is going to be increases but the size of the hydrogen but the size of hydrogen remains same in the all compounds like h2o h2s h2se h2te and h2po clear so main difference in the series of these oxygen family that is the the individual elements of group 16 because all the compounds in the hydrides of group 16 hydrogen is common in all cases so the size of hydrogen is also common in the all cases of oxygen families hydride only the elemental sizes are different so now just go to the go through the with the answer since the size of the since the size of the elements increases from or we can say increases down the group or we can say top to bottom the elements bond with the hydrogen dissociation enthalpy decreases and hence elect, uh, uh, elements bond with the hydrogen bonds breaks more easily because the bond length is going to be greater as the bond length increases as the bond length increases then the bond strength is also going to be decreases so that's why bond is going to be breaks easily on heating or we can say it is not thermostable so therefore the thermal stability of the hydrates of the group 16 element decreases down the group i hope you understand this question with the explanation of the answer okay thank you class